if you are watching this it means that you suck at CAE and I'm going to teach you how to do lab 2 from Papa class okay so open your hyperwork desktop version and you will be greeted by the user profile so at this stage just choose Optistrap because who cares so first thing first before you start any simulation or run any model you should know that there are a couple of things that you need to know and this goes by this step will apply to all of your simulation either in 1D, 2D or 3D so first thing is you need to know the you need to have the material the hyper beam for the 1D or a sign for the 2D and 3D next is the properties the component load and collector you must do all of this but in order so you wouldn't mess up so bad and I know you because you suck because you're watching this video so listen okay so once you know what you need to do so first up we make the material this is the icon for the material in case you don't know hover the icon for a little bit and the material will show up okay click the material put it a material name you could put it your own name but it's not a material name so put it still okay change the color of the steel gray black whatever you choose and the type is isotropic cut image will be matte one why not matte four because i like matte one okay create edit okay the, uh, this is the setting for your material properties and by default the hyper mesh will put the value with the steel properties so in case you have any other properties you can change it by yourself but for this for the purpose of this tutorial you just need to click the E for the young modulus and U for the poison ratio and RO for the density in case you need it so what whatever okay so return once you confirm everything just return and we finish the first step which is the material next for the hyper beam go to 1D here on the right side bottom choose the hyper beam uh, there's a couple of options here choose the standard section uh, choose solid circle and then create okay so this window will pop up and change the radius to 25 as per lab say I cannot change it why because 25 hit me okay so I can change it okay to return to the previous window just click here at the bot top left model view okay so everything should go back to normal and check out let's panel you have your circle section you have your material and BAM we're done with the second property so we go to the next which is the properties table okay return go to the properties all right put the properties name for this we call it dummy bar because like it or not you are a dummy dummy bar okay prop just to make the name pop up uh, put some color type change it to 1d cut image to p rod material steel beam section your earlier section that you made through the hyper beam okay cut image we have few cut image but just choose p rod because i say just create and return so bam done next component okay for the component we need to create go to geometry on the bottom right put the node at zero create then change the 
What is x direction to what is the direction? Whatever you like, 500. Great. Okay, so you cannot see anything on the window. Click the screen and press the button F. Okay, so you should see two dot. Next, go to one D. Create a rod. Okay, so node one should be this, and then wait a second. Don't click the second node yet. Change the element type into C rod because why not? Okay, dummy ball prop and return. Eh, uh, we undo a few step back. Okay, I mess up. People do wrong thing every day, so go back to the rod. Click the node one, and then the property. Dummy ball, element type C rod, and then click the second. Okay, you should you should see uh, the line with the C rod mentioned, and then press it in. Okay, there you go. Expand all. You should see your component is done. Material done. Hyper beam done. Properties component, and now for the load. Okay, go to the analysis, and uh, oh no, go to the load collector icon. Yeah, here. Okay, put a load call SPC for single point constraint. This should be where your rigid point should be. Uh, change the color to red because red means stop and uh, SPC means stop too. So just create. Uh, next is force. Uh, change the color to blue. I'm getting bored here. Okay, so create another force. Hmm. Okay, return. Should expand all and see. I don't like the red color for SPC. I change it back to the blue and force is to red. So it should be cool right now. So, oops, oops. Okay, now it's for the load. For the load, we are done now. The load collector. So you should sign assign your load where it should be. So go to analysis and under the constraint put it the first node, change the relative size to 50, take all the de degree of freedom. One mean x direction, two mean y, and three mean z. For the four is rotational uh, rotational x and so on. You get the point. So create there you go, you should see something like that. But wait, it is red. Why is red? Because look here at the bottom right, the force is activated. So this is wrong. So when you do something wrong and you will do it, so press F2. F2 is the shortcut for delete stuff you don't need. Uh change the element. Mm by collector oh no return uh, maybe i should click it or oh, you cannot click it okay change to load and delete entity okay now back to the analysis with the force activated you should do force first click the force and then click the end and change the magnitude to whatever you like 1000 whatever i don't care so uh, see the direction here the upward is y so you sh should change this to y direction and the minus sign because you want it to go downward not upward so yeah whatever make you happy man 50 so create see you should you should see a force on the window if not Please view this video again. So, next we're gonna change it from the force to the constraint. Click the force, click the SPC, and go back to the constraint. Click the point 50, uh, make sure everything is thick, and then bam, create. 
Okay, you should see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 For whatever number, I don't care Okay So, for the loot collector Hmm We're done with all of this So, next Second last step is to Apply the simulation Which is Go back to the analysis Click click the load step and then put a name for your experiment ah bar exp click the tick the spc and load okay first one spc and the second one is the force so your type should be linear static because this is a linear static experiment so great return then everything is done check your check your model detail oops okay compare it you have your material where your material okay we have the steel hyper beam assign beam section properties we have the properties the dummy bar mm, the component okay we have the component load we have two spc and force and load collector Maybe I should change it, not load collector, load step. And this is the load collector. Alright, so we all happy, we good? Okay, let's go. So, last but not least is to click the Optistrat to run the simulation. Export option should be all, run option should be analysis because you want whatever. Okay, create a. I think I should make a folder first. So I make a folder first. New folder, call it tutorial 1D. Okay. So save your file here, save as model. Go back to the desktop and story one. Save it. One D. Save. Okay. So of this truck again. Uh, everything should be good and of this truck. All right. You know the job is done when you say analysis completed job completed good job you finally able to do 1d thank you so close it close close everything so uh, i think you should screenshot if you want it but if you don't want it you can view your result where uh, you, you you can either Let's stick to the basic. Click up the struct again. Uh, okay, the job analysis is done. Just click the result here. And the hypermesh should open the result page. Per se. Okay. Now you should see some blue line across the screen. And what you should do if you want to see the analysis. Click the contour color here. Okay, click. And then this is the result type for this displacement. It can be stress or displacement. Just click this displacement and apply. Okay, you should see some color. Screenshot if you did it. If you don't it, just move on. I don't think stress is applicable right now because i don't know it just kept showing zero so maybe you're lucky maybe you're not i don't care so for me i just stick with the displacement and screenshot make a result out of it and go on with your life okay okay that's it for 1d uh, next I think I stop here first and uh, I made a second video on the 2D. So good luck. Bye bye. Take care.